Alright, uh. Part two. Yeah, this is part two. And we got to do what it do. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. I'm guessing this is like to catch you up on what's going on. Something there. Sorry, some more, some more technical difficulties. You can edit it out, huh? And now, part two of Hidden Agenda. Welcome back to the video. This is part two. Who do you think is the most loyal? Young Dolph. Hey, hey. Hey, Simon, how you holding up? Um, hanging in there. A lot of extra work whenever there's a freak on the loose, I guess. Okay, okay, guys, settle down, listen up. Hey, listen up. We lost a cop today. Another one won't be returning to active duty. And it could have been even worse. I know it's gonna be tough on all of us. No one here ever thought we'd see the day that Jack Calvary went down for the count. He, uh... That were rude. Well, let's be blunt, he wasn't the kind to catch his flies with sugar. But he was one of us. And this atrocity cannot stand. I don't think she'd be saying nothing. She should. This is the wrong time. Concern. Yeah, hey, she'd be curious. They don't think it's the And what about the bomb, sir? Was it intended to kill us? We got lucky. The blast exploded outward from the body, so when Hillary moved Calvary, the bulk of the force hit the wall. I'm grateful I still have my hands. Yeah, me too. Montesinos, not so lucky. So you really think this is the trapper? Could be this Adam character. Could be the hooker. Until we have reason to believe what otherwise, we are treating this as a trapper copycat. It's entirely possible that Jonathan Finn is somehow pulling the strings from behind bars. We have District Attorney Felicity Graves here to help with the investigation. She is familiar with the Trapper's M.O. She's here to help. Please extend her every courtesy. One more thing. District Attorney Felicity Graves has negotiated to have Jonathan Finn temporarily released into our custody. Ah, oh, come on. You believe this? Hey. I think this might be a valuable lead, and I'm going to follow it through. Anyone has a problem with that, you know where my office is. Detective Marnie, I'm going to need you to look into Calvary's old Trapper case files. We're looking for links here. Anything we could have missed. She gotta be calm. Yeah, sure. Got it. Okay, time to get moving. Just remember, Jack Calvary is watching from whatever shithole he ended up in. He's doing proud. Did you hurt? <laughs> Hi, Miss Graves. How you holding up? It's tough losing one of the ranks. No matter how it goes down. But thank you for asking. I'll let you know if we find anything. They're getting ready to move Finn for his little field trip. 
I'd like for you to join us. So okay. would I. If I can get out of the dungeon. Do we have a problem? What? Do you really think that I have something to do with this? Becky, come on. Oh, no, Tom. You come on. Uh, will you move, please? Only the friend who is most loyal can make this choice. <gasps> I'm your partner. We have to be honest with each other. Honest? But here's honest. Everybody knows about this beef between you and Calvary. Some of these guys, they don't think you're all there. You've got to start watching out for yourself. Tom, you're accusing me of murdering a fellow officer. You had motive. I'm just doing my job. You're my partner, Tom. How can I forget? We're supposed to be on the same side here. I'm not on your side because I'm your partner. I'm on your side because I'm your friend. And you got more around here than you realize. Why do you think Riggs put you on case review? He just wants me out of the way. Maybe. Or maybe he thinks you'll actually find something. Adam Jones was definitely at Las Palmas, same time as Finn. Allegedly died in the fire that shut the place down. Now, according to Finn, Jones grew up to be the trapper, but how can that be possible? Doesn't make sense. Orphanages were they both were, and where all the, you know, mm -hmm. funhouse stuff went on. What's the difference between Lost Palmas Orphanage and Orderly? Orderly, I guess the order of how they died. The the first victim. I just go. Up. If these killings are connected to the Las Palmas orphanage, Father Rominski is at the center of it. It's just too bad that the rest of the clergy took a vow of silence the minute things started to get hairy for him. But Finn told Felicity that Rominski had some kind of secret room at the orphanage. Couldn't find any reference to this in the police records. I guess it's time for me to head over to Las Palmas and take another look. What's you gonna find? It's all burned down. Mm -hmm. Sunlight on. I'm scared. It's daytime. They see Hello? Hello? No picture frame? Looking for. 
you see this clip, if you see the man is trying to go ahead and stop right there. Mm. I'm saying that's how you find it. We miss one of them. Hey! Hey, who's there? Who do you Who's think most is daring? most daring? Mm. Marnie, <laughs> headed to a house at 22 Huffman Road. Oh, my Are you there? Uh, yeah. Is everything okay? They won't let me back in the game. It won't let me in the game. <laughs> it froze. Oh, should we tell her what happened? Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Finn took Becky to the house where Adam Jones was raised. I don't even know who called. The Asian woman? Oh, Felicity asked, was everything okay? Mm-hmm. That's the Asian one. What was she we say? Tell her. Someone was creeping around Las Palmas. It could have been nothing. I mean, the place is like squatter heaven. They bolted the second I made them. Hmm. I'll see you at the house. I hope they ain't staying. Oh, I was like, I hope they ain't staying there. This is Adam Jones' house. Do me a favor and just make sure he doesn't try anything. Oh, he can certainly try. Don't get any ideas. It's good to see you again. How are your bracelets? Well, I can't feel my fingers, if that's what you're asking. You gonna help me out or what? I don't know. Tighten him. He can't keep nowhere. He can't feel his fingers. All right, loosen him. They just leave him alone. If we loosen him, he might get loose. We'll tighten him up. <sighs> How's that? So kind of you. So is this where Adam came after the orphanage? <laughs> This is where Adam grew up. How they gonna have him out there all wet? He an inmate. They don't, they don't care. Where the police officer go? What the? All clear. Double squatter nests, but looks like they split. Alright, give us five. Start the tour, boss. Right this way. This room right in here. This is where Adam slept when he ran away. Nobody's been here for years, Finn. Well, I didn't say he'd be here to greet us. 
Alright, look, we gotta find a tent, a stack of papers. I can't see. So you're saying that this is this is his, not some squatters? Squatters wouldn't dare. all this Adam's pop was a pest control man you don't say it's a pretty good one too traps of course the one thing Adam got from his dad was a knack for killing vermin detective Marnie Sarge says it's time to wrap it up we found something just need a couple more minutes how did Adam end up at the orphanage? Well, Adam's pop would get so blasted he couldn't see a hole in a ladder. Beat his wife senseless if she gave him one crooked look. One night, she loaded up his double lot, took his head clean off, right in front of Adam. Judge put her away for life. No parole, no visits from her kid. Guess it don't matter that if she hadn't picked up that shotgun, Pops would have killed them both sooner or later anyway. That's our justice system for you, right? Murder is murder. Mm -hmm. Murder is murder. It wasn't self-defense. Oh, Maybe man. how you see it. Doesn't mean she had the right to kill. Auto. So yeah, wow. Adam was shipped off to Las Palmas. So he probably would have killed Out of the frying pan into the fire, huh? Those men. You wouldn't believe what they did to us in there. Minsky and that piece of shit orderly and you know we tried to fight him the way you're supposed to fight him we called the cops third precinct and nobody did a goddamn thing not even our own social worker so once Adam got out of that hell hole he figured out his own way to make them all pay hmm. those cops he knew their beat he timed every murder to the minute he knew exactly who'd get the call and exactly what was waiting for him cops failed Parents failed, system failed. What would you do? You took out the people who hurt us. What would you do if it happened to you? It's not for me to decide. That's what a jury's for. Yeah, so I hear. Who gave him the right? You know, I used to think... Maybe Adam's the only one who can see the world for what it truly is. See past all the bullshit. The evil deeds that lie in the hearts of men. But now I know only God has that gift. It don't matter much now. Once Adam got his man, he retired. And I'm about to pay the price. His man? Raminsky. His last victim. That's not entirely true. Rominski may not be his last victim. What? Detective Calvary was just taken out in a manner very similar to the Trapper's M.O. Cutting it close, my God. What? Nothing. I, uh... I guess he wasn't finished. Ah, oh, shit. I need to take this. You gonna be all right? Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Only the friend who is most daring can make this choice. Say no. But I don't know. I need. We need some more information. But he gonna he gonna beat us to death. We tighten up his handcuffs though. You know what you, you know what criminals can do in criminals. Criminals can do <laughs> in handcuffs. You ever seen that nope. boy? Nope. That boy. What you gonna What you gonna do? I think it's time we all got out of here. Hold up. I need to talk to you alone for a second. Just you. He 
you try it twice. Give it to him. It's not only me, it's you too. Why not? Felicity, give us a minute. Are you sure? I'll be fine. Hey. You still think I'm making all this up? Less and less, but without proof that Adam's still running around. I can get you proof. No, you can't. You're right. Not like this, I can't. <laughs> You're nuts. Look, he's never gonna show his face while I'm on a leash. But on my own, I can draw him out. Serve him right up on a silver platter. Even if you're right, Judge Vanstone wouldn't go for it in a million years. If he started killing again, he ain't gonna stop. Until he either gets caught or he gets what he wants. Well, let's hope it's the former. Then let me help you do it. Why? This... This is penance. Look, there's, uh... Something I may have neglected to mention. Oh, please, enlighten me. Adam told me that if I were to ever find myself free of incarceration, he'd reach out immediately. Is that so? You can make it look like I overpowered you. No one would have to know. Oh, uh, this is insanity. This is insanity. You gotta get your head examined. It's the only chance you got. And it's my only chance to do one good thing before it's all over. Look at me. I could take you out in a second. Police would buy it. We can make it look real. Prisoner 75422 is requested to be returned to custody immediately. This is Officer 732. Receive a request. Please stand by for confirmation. Shut up. All right, shut up. I don't want to hear another goddamn word. You understand? Hey, hey, you're not going anywhere, cowboy. She got her face flat. Thank you, sleep. Stop. Back to the beginning. The Undertaker. The one target Finn had no clear motive to kill. No apparent connection to Las Palmas. Widow claimed to have no idea why Finn would want to kill her husband. Maybe five years have given her a fresh perspective. I'm gonna go see if she wants to be chatty. Who do you think is the most honest? Yes? Miss Johnson, what do you want? <laughs> I'd like to speak to you about your husband. What are you, a cop? I ain't got nothing to say to you. Yes, ma'am. I'm a detective. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions about your husband. Yeah? Where was y'all when I called at 2 in the morning to get him to stop hitting me? Where was the cops then? Now you got a lot of questions for me. Maybe now I ain't got time for you. All right. 
You gonna tell me exactly what it is you wanna know? Well, I'm very sorry to hear that your husband treated you like that. Sounds like he had it coming one way or another. Yeah, one way or another. That all you wanted? I'd like to know if um, your husband ever regular. used the services of a call girl. <laughs> what are you kidding? He suck his pecker in everything from high price spreads to gutter cleaners. I gave up keeping score. <laughs> Ma'am, have you ever heard of anyone Why? by the name of Adam Jones? A kid named Adam used to help my husband out sometimes before he lost his undertaking job, but that was a long time ago. Could this be him? Maybe just grown up a bit? Mm, well, yeah, could be. Yeah. Are you sure? Take a good look. Yep. I say that's him. Well, thank you for your time, Miss Johnson. Mm. Sounds Maybe like she had the same MO as Adam Jones's dad. Who taking pictures of her? What's going on? They are always somewhere alone. Eight twenty three PM revisiting the crime scene of Detective Jack Calvary's murder. Gonna have a closer that's, look that's at the weakest explosives. Hmm. That's some weak explosives. Not that big of a place, but I always have to wonder if the forensic team missed something. All right, uh, what is that? A bed, a webcam. I got one. What is it? What a webcam at? Oh, got it. Oh. Bloody mess. Marks spread outward on the headboard from the um, the origin of the blast. Forensics confirmed that the bullets were fired from Calvary's gun. But why? This is just... Huh. Okay, now who's this? He had no glove on. Oh my god. That's from the orphanage. <laughs> wow. Well, I never thought I'd say this, but thank God Calvary was one perverted piece of shit. This is huge. What was from the orphanage? It's the dude that was at the orphanage. She was chasing.
I can explain. Yeah, well, you damn well better. I will. I will, just... Could you start talking? I needed to know. Know what? About you. What were you trying to find out? I know you and Calvary had issues. He's putting it mildly. That's exactly my point. The inquiry? Jesus Christ. You two? I have to look at this from every angle, Vicky. You know that. Okay, if you wanted Calvary out, then you could have used Finn's confession to pin it on the trapper. That's opportunity and motive. You're right. And so is this oh right now. Oh, God, please. Please, Vicky. Who is he? Who am I? Who? I'm sorry. For you, for you to think that I could do this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dang. She was following her. What is going on right here? Somebody else. Okay, that's the end of part two. Hit the well, box when you're ready like to this. move on. Looks as if that's the end of video part number two. Let's see y'all in video number three.